Hey, what is up, guys? AJ Brook Reviews here, and today we're looking at the LEGO City Fire Station 7240. Came out back in 2005, ages 5 plus, has 260 pieces, and retailed for $30. Here's the whole set. Let's get right into it. So here's our first figure. He has Fireman there. Very basic fire, fire printing. No back printing at all. Uh, this one just has the respirator on. The other two are the same, but with different faces. And uh, yeah, we have three of them here. There's our third one, different face, same torso, nothing special. This is 2005, so you're not seeing a lot of side printing, leg printing, back printing, none of that. So those are our figures, now let's get to the main fire station. But first things first here, we have this little fire car. You can see it from the front, it's on a four stud wide, with the wheels popping out a little bit. You have very basic box car looking thing. Let's start from the front here, see every little grill plate for the engine. Then you have your lights, um, no license plate or anything. Your bottom, it's built on the main, fr uh, this main uh, normal car frame they used to use for a lot of the um, city cars. 7240 stickers there, there, and then the main fire logo, which is actually, I believe it's a print, but it could be a sticker. Then on top you have your lights, you have walkie-talkie and axe. Then on instructions, they have your respirator up here, but you could put it anywhere. Then you have this faucet on the bottom, which is for water, to get water out, to put out a fire. Inside these little um, store, not what's the cancer, but like storage. Um, storage containers, you guess you call them. You have a water bottle in there, put out fire. Or it could be a fire extinguisher. Then you have a megaphone. So that is the little fire car. Very basic, simple. It does get the job done though. You can put one figure in there at most, unless you want to have some guy standing. But other than that, very basic and simple. I like it, it's neat. Now let's get to the fire station. So here's our fire station. Let's start from the bottom, all on this side. We have a ladder with a big window. Then we have a little keypad right here with a light on it. This leads to the garage where it can have, sp it has space for one car, unless you want to imagine it going all the way back. And you can put more cars, but it won't be on the base plate. And you have two base plates here. You can see with the little line dividing them. This one is this part right here, this little sticker with the fire logo on it. Moving to the side, we have this rack right here with a bunch of fire tools on it to put out the fire. We have fire hose, chainsaw, shovel, axe, the usual. Then we have a bunch of lights on here. And these two binocular pieces, I believe, are just for decoration. Then you have these two shields that have the fire logo on them. The shield pieces, but you can see, I believe that those are stickers. Same with this fire logo right here. Then on top, you have uh, windows on the top, which is really nice. Then you have this little bridge right here with a little fence gate, which leads to the main fire building. Starting from the bottom, you have a little door, which has a fire doorknob on it. You can just open that up. And you have your reception desk, which is very small. But then again, this is 2005, so you're not expecting anything um, like major. Then you have the fire logo on here. It's supposed to be going on the other side, so I'll get that fixed off camera. Um, but up here, you have space for one seat, or you have two people standing. And this has a radar, and there is a little sticker right there that says alarm which means there's a fire on a little map makeshift map with light right above it and you have these two angled win windows that stick out then you right here you have this camera been moved around a little bit um, to watch the main area in front of the fire station and then on top you have two antennas on the side here you have this fire pole play feature which you can slide up and down like this you can put your feet uh, figure in and you can slide the Slide all the way down the little uh, ladder, I guess you would call it a fire pole. Um, this thing does slide down like that a little bit. But what you can do is that if you want your firefighter to slide down the pool, all you gotta do, you know, get my hand out the way, all you gotta do is just move it, put it right here. It'll stay put, put your firefighter down. Um, maybe you wanna drop them to this side right here, or you wanna drop them all the way down, just do that. Then uh, last line on the bottom here, we have a little uh, stand with a walkie talkie, and you have a little fence. So let's look at the box and the instructions. I'm just gonna get this out the way first, but personally what I like uh, about this fire station the most, it's a little uh, gate here that can swing open and forward. Only problem is that it does like to angle a bit since so it's only on one little clip. I do like the ladder on over here and I do like the alarm right here. 
and finally like i said earlier i do like this little fire logo on this one by one tile on the door for the doorknob or the door handle i meant to say so now let's look at the box instructions so we have four instruction manuals here our first one it's a small poly bag foldable one for the fire car there's tape on it because i did buy it used very basic normal poly bag instructions then our second one here is our main fire garage what it looks like then our third one here is the first floor of the main part of the fire station then our last one here is the top two floors the top one floor really nothing in the middle that's what it looks like there then we had this little foldable booklet that had some alternate builds those two right there then on the inside let's look at this first on the inside here we had the main fire station build then on the outside here we had all the fire sets all the police sets i have reviewed the helicopter around this time last year so go check that out um here's the fire 4x4 and the main fire truck i still need to get those and review them we have this little construction set right here there's a bunch out at the time in 2005 then we have all the police sets which i haven't reviewed any of them but i really like to so someday i will then here is the box it's the front here bought from Atlanta Brick Co all the play value you can get in here then I can turn it around oh one more thing though they do have the blue strip from 2005 on most of the boxes they used on the early to mid 2000s then right here you have it shows all the bags shows what it can build shows a kid playing with it and all the play features here then on the side here has a fire the fire car then on the top has the fire figures then on the bottom has part of the fire station well, it's flipped over so yeah overall a very great set you can probably find it uh, around 80 dollars now you uh, new around 60 ish that's the price i bought it for used definitely recommend getting this if you just want a basic fire station um a little nostalgia blast from the past very basic if i get this figure up i'm gonna place them back here but yeah other than that little to no flaws other than the fact that there's not uh it's pretty basic so you're not getting a lot of detail because again this is 2005 um but yeah overall i love this set if i was a little kid definitely be playing with this so yeah make sure you all check out make sure you check out my other fire helicopter review um that i posted and i will see y'all later make sure you like comment subscribe